Do you like being overpowered as hell? Oh, not really. I like to... Well, today we are going to do just that in Fable The Lost Chapters. Just start a new game in Fable and just go through the childhood chapter as usual. There's no requirements for you to do any side quests though, so if you want to do any, go ahead. Once you pass the kill exam, the run starts for real and you actually have limited time, so we need to hurry. Buy Assassin's Rush with your experience as your first upgrade. We don't need it right away, but we'll make plenty of use of it later. Head over to the guild shop close by and sell your resurrection files for a bit of starting money. And buy all the green apples the vendor has. The next part is optional, but you got time. If you're afraid of running around the world without any resurrection files, rush over to the demon door and open it by using the lamp you received from the exam. This will reward you with an elixir of life, which increases your max HP. But okay, we need to hurry now, so exit the guild and head straight to Bowerstone. Talk to the vendor next to the entrance, and it's time to get the infinite money exploit going. Just buy all the green apples and instantly sell every single one you have at once. Then rebuy all of them. You keep buying the apples for a cheap price because the vendor has a large quantity, but he buys them back for more money because he doesn't have any apples in stock at that point. Once you got enough money, you can add in a few more items in the mix from this vendor that he has in large quantities like carrots, grain sacks, and apple pies. You don't need a lot of money as of yet, so once you have a few thousand gold, you should be golden. Head out of Bowerstone and towards the forest. The goal is to rush past every zone to Oakville as quickly as possible. We don't want any slowdowns, so with the bandit barricade, just pay and rush ahead. Eventually, you will exit Darkwood into Barrow Fields. At this point, turn around and run back into Darkwood. You want to head back towards the Darkwood camp and instead turn right and run to the Chapel of Scorm. When you arrive, use your guild seal to teleport to Barrow Fields. What this does is make a recollection teleport, so you are able to teleport straight back to the chapel. Rush into Oakville and run east to the mercenary. Hire him and use your guild seal to teleport back to the chapel. Once you are back at the chapel, use your guild seal again to teleport to Bowerstone, as this will keep your teleport spot to Chapel of Scorm. Run into the bar and hire the second mercenary. Now, teleport back to the chapel, and the rushing is over. At this point, it's a waiting game. Save your game now so that if you end up messing this part up, you have a backup. So why did we rush so much all this time? Because on day zero, when you just start the game, it has the highest chance of giving us what we want with a neutral character that isn't good or evil. The goal is to sacrifice your followers when the clock on the top right looks like this. You need to be precise though. So we can use the mercenaries who take gold from you every hour to know when a new hour has begun. If you did this well, your Sakurai should have given you Scorm's bow. The best bow in the entire game. If you got it on your first try, feel free to tell the mercenary to sod off, as he's not needed anymore. Now we have the best bow in the game, which is awesome. But we can do better! Head into any area in the game with enemies and get some magic experience. If you want, you can also teleport to something like the Hero's Guild to buy some will potions, as you will easily run out of will this early on. Now, with enough experience, go back to the Hero's Guild and buy the summon skill. This will give you the wasp that you need for this next part. Head straight towards the Chamber of Fate. Now, head up the stairs and stand exactly where you see me standing right now. Summon your wasp and it will spawn on the staircase this way. Nudge a bit into it, which will make it sink into the floor. Now, assassins rush to the wasp and you should clip through the floor. Below the floor is the damn Sword of Aeons, one of the best swords in the game, and it even has an experience augmentation on it to make leveling faster. Now we got the best bow in the game and one of the best swords in the game. We are set and ready to play, right? No, we can be even better. So let's quickly get some gold. Head over to Oakville and head towards the general store. This general store sells emeralds. These work like apples if the quantity is high enough and will gain you gold at a much faster rate. Get some more infinite money this way. And once you have enough, head into Dark Woods. The idea is to find a Balverine. Hit it a few times with the Sword of Aeons to weaken it and let your summon kill the Balverine, which in turn turns your summon into it. Now, we head into Oakville and go to the beach to reach the bandit camp. This, however, has a big locked door, which is not a problem for us. Head to the gate and summon your Balverine. 
Lock onto it and position yourself next to the gate in the middle. Resummon the Balverine until it finally positions itself into the door. Then you have to use Assassin's Rush and you clip through the gate. If it doesn't work right away, just keep retrying. It can be a bit precise sometimes. Once you reach your second gate, do the same thing and clip through. Now we have access to Twinblades Camp, and the vendors here have some nice stuff, including a full set of Dark Blade armor. Now look at yourself. You are still a scrawny guy, but geared like you stole your mother's credit cards. I don't want to alarm you, but this is what peak performance looks like. Is what a weakling would say, we can be even better! Head back into the Heroes Guild, and we are gonna do one single quest. The Wasp Menace. Head towards the picnic area, and get carried by your gear. Um, I mean, beat the quest. Upon completion, you receive a quest trophy, which we will use for this upcoming glitch. Go back to Power Stone, and once you're inside, pull out the trophy. Now try walking out of the exit gate and spam the menu button while doing that. Now, once you are deep enough, rush back in and head towards the gate to Northern Bowerstone. The guard in front of it doesn't stop you when getting close. Now, push him with your body to hide him to the side so he doesn't stand close to the gate. After the trophy minigame is over, you are teleported out of Bowerstone. Now, upon coming back, the guard is still in the corner you pushed him into and doesn't stop you from entering as long as you stick to the right. Now, inside of North Bowerstone, we have one more easy gold manipulation upgrade. The shop here sells diamonds. Now, we can do the same thing we have done before of mass buying all the diamonds and mass selling for profit. But we are not here for that alone. We are also for this, the Solace Greatsword. Buy it. And now, you truly do have the strongest sword in the game. All right, we did it. We did all the exploit we can do for power at the start of the game. It's what a quitter would say! It's time to jack ourselves up in no time flat. First, we need some special potions called the Ages of Potions. You'll find the Age of Strength potion in this random building in Bowerstone South on the second floor. The Age of Skill potion can be fished up right outside of the picnic area. If you lack a fishing rod, any general vendor sells it. And finally, the Ages of Will potion can be found in this barrel at the bandit camp. These potions give a flat experience boost if you drink them. However, they are affected by the combat multiplier. So, how will you get so much combat multiplier level so easily then? Simple! Head towards the Bowerstone Quay and meet this lad. He will ask you to get a bunch of hairstyles to look as silly as possible. We listen to him until he finally admits he was just trolling you. At that moment, lock onto him and just beat the crap out of him. Because he is a quest NPC, he cannot die here and can be infinitely punched as guards do not spawn in this zone. If you punch him at any time before finishing the side quest, he will just interrupt with dialogue. So, keep punching him until you finally feel you have enough of a combat multiplier going on. So, I've been beating this guy for a few minutes and I've made a decent combat multiplier. The idea is to get much higher than this, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to stop beating him and start drinking the Ages of Potions for that sweet, sweet experience. Look how much experience I got now from this minor beating. So here we are, much stronger than before, and the best weapons in the game, and the power to actually wield the best sword. If you prefer though, you can stick to the Sword of Aeons as this will give more experience. Well... I've come far, and we barely even started the game. I bet Mace must be so proud of me. And for pity's sake, boy, make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Basic? 